What's up, guys? What is up, Star Snappy? And we are back another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. And today, I want to show off a little some some to you guys. So we just finished streaming up a little bit, and we were able to accomplish some things. Uh, first thing we did mainly was we finished up the building on top of Lebronto James. And he has himself a full 3x3 three three base with a window on each side that it doesn't have the door. We got the hatch to the second floor and we got room to expand. We've also hit level 56 and we have ourselves some stuff here including the Argentavis saddle which we recently learned. We'll be crafting one of those up probably today. And also we're getting awfully close to the auto turret which is right there. And we just learned the generator and respected stuff so... We're probably going to be going about building a generator. We'll throw it in one of these corners and outfit this entire Bronto with some turrets on each corner. I want to go with like two on the front corner, one on the back corner, and then take it from there. We also do need a fabricator, which we'll probably craft, throw in the base down below. And home base, this is the mobile base. Uh, we'll throw a fabricator down there, and we will use that to actually craft the stuff. And we also got to make sure that we get ourselves some... Uh, Gotta get some oil and some stuff along those lines to actually craft that, but that'll be in the future. Today, I wanted to show off something a little special. The plants, just kidding, but so we did also plant our extra plant species X seed. It's gonna be grown, it's got a lot of fertilizer, and hopefully that will all go well. But what I did want to show off is this little fella, and not only do I want to show him off, I know some of you guys are gonna be like, Star, but I want to see you tame one. These guys are so common on the stream. I saw like probably 10 of them within like a couple minutes there. They're pretty easy to find. I, there was actually one wandering around here somewhere. He might still be around. Yeah, he's actually right there over by the rest of our dinos. So we'll go ahead and tame him in a sec. But before we tame him, did want to show off the guy himself. So his name's Manny Packy Owl. Get it? He's a Packy. And it's Owl because he hits people. And like when you get hit, you say Owl. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm so funny, just kidding, but uh, here are his stats, I've upped his health once, and uh, really nothing too insane, his base health was like 210, stamina 165, oxygen 150, food 1300, weights 100, melee 206, and movement speed that, so his melee is actually kind of high, and it does go up by a decent chunk, so I think that's what I'm going to be focusing on and turning him kind of into a tank, but uh, as you can see now, this is him walking around, this is him sprinting around, and he seems like an alright mount, but his... The special thing about him is not about what he does while walking or running, but what he does while charging. So when you right click, he actually enters charge mode, he uses up a lot of stamina here, but uh, when he's charging, he becomes quite the fast animal. And really, this is pretty damn useful, I'm not gonna lie, so if we could get like an epic view of him. Look at it. Look at it. This is him. This is him and me. It's us against the world. And Star takes on Ark. I don't know, that'd be my cheesy movie title, but uh, that is him right there. Look at that beauty. We actually tamed like a seemingly green one, which is kind of cool. And yeah, so really what they're good at is not much. They're like a level 15 amount. Uh, you can actually see here I have their saddle. And I actually do have the recipe for the saddle if you guys want to see that. Recipe should be right there. It's 110 hide, 65 fiber, 20 wood. Very low recipe count. You don't really have to worry about it too much. Once you get level 15, you can knock one of these out pretty easily. The taming time, as you guys will see, is uh, pretty fast. Keep in mind, we're on a four times sped up taming server. So however long it takes me, just multiply that by four. That's how long it take you to tame one of these. But uh, their ability and the important thing about them comes not in what they do or any of that. Or their stats, but they're like RAM, where they, like when you right click and start charging at something... So the really important thing about that is that it raises the topor of whatever it hits. So, if I were to go ahead and charge into something, that's kind of the good thing about this. Besides the fact it's like, kind of fast when it runs around, and it's like, you know, respectable. I mean, it could be a fast mount. I mean, if you up its stamina constantly, you could have a lot of stamina and you could run in a straight line for quite a long time. And he's also a herbivore, as you guys will see. But uh, the important thing about this guy is that he can knock animals out with that right click. So I'm going to go ahead and see if we could test it out on this Fiomia up here. Fiomia is kind of in like a well-sheltered area, but let's see if we can hit him. Uh, that's the thing though, he does run in a straight line. So it's kind of hard to gauge where you're going to hit and you kind of have to take that into account. But if we can, there you go, just saw us get a nice hit in on that Fiomia. We are currently stuck and that Fiomia is going to run away. Unfortunately, so let's see if we could like charge. I don't know if he continues charging in the water. No, he does not. All right, well, that Fiomi is going to escape, but that is what he does. I'm going to try my best to find an animal to demonstrate that on. But I mean, there's a Fiomi there, and I think it's just like the more speed he picks up. 
the more potential he has to do damage with it. Something like that, but for now, let's just get our stamina back on this guy. And we'll try on this Fiomia. If we can't do it on this Fiomia, we'll just go on to Taming. No worries. And uh, let's hurry up. Come on, then. Get kind of close just so we don't miss. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, he stands still. Don't move. Boom! There we go. We were able to do a pretty nice hit, and his Topor should be raised from that. However, he's going to run. Uh, hopefully, get stuck on a rock so we can continue hitting him. There we go. He's kind of stuck there. Let's see if another one of these can potentially knock him out. No, but he's still stuck. Going to back up a little bit and see if we can get a third hit in and see how much Topor damage this can do. There we go. As you can see, three hits from this guy is able to knock out a Fiomia. So he has, that's what his charging attack is good for, for knocking things out. And honestly, I, I don't even care. We're going to, we're going to tame this Fiomia. I don't even give a shit. We got berries. Boom. Fiomia, you're going to be mine. Probably won't take him too long. Ah, uh, might take the Fiomia a little bit. His saving effectiveness is really low. Oh, probably because we were beating the shit out of him. Uh, yeah, about that. That's awkward. His food goes down really fast. I just noticed that. Holy shit. We're not going to have enough berries. Uh, okay, really quick. I think... One of these guys has one of them. I, I just, like, if he's knocked out, might as well. That's what Fiomis are good for. They're like poop factories. So, let's go ahead and get some berries off this guy. Uh, we'll just take the Tinto, I guess. Nothing too crazy. And we'll just throw it on the Fiomia. We're not even going to up the Topor on the Fiomia and feed him narcotics. He doesn't even need that. He'll be, he should be easily tamed here. He's already a third of the way done. So, Fiomias are really hungry dudes, apparently. Anyways, let's take Packy back over here. And make sure that we actually take the narcotics off them, because we had quite a bit of those. And we'll take the meho berries off them as well. We gotta feed those to our friend that we're about to be knocking out. And let's go to the Anklo and get some more berries, just in case. Anklo, of course we can up... What do we want to up on the Anklo? Maybe the weight, so we can carry more metal back and forth. Or maybe melee, I don't know, I guess we'll see. But so let's bring some Azul berries with us as well. And, once we have these, let's go looking for that bad boy. We got plenty of Trank arrows. And as you can see, it's not too hard to knock out, as you guys will see, I mean. And hopefully wherever this guy is, I know where he wandered off to, he was, he was around. And he's been around this area for like the past hour, so I don't think he'd just wander off all of a sudden. The question is where? Where is he? And I can't wait to take that Bronto too, like we could travel down to the coast with him and... Dude, mobile Brontos, mobile bases, oh, it's just so cool, I love that. Ah, here he is. Okay, we're just gonna make sure. The best way to tame these actually is if you go ahead and hop onto a rock that they can't climb. You can usually have a pretty easy time. Did I hit him there? I did not. Of course I didn't. That's a hit. Yeah, as long as you get on top of a rock that he can't climb, you should have a pretty easy time taming them. However, they can absolutely knock the shit out of you. Because, as you guys saw, they're Topor. They're very good at Topor stuff. So... Gotta be very careful. All I gotta do is knock him out. Oh wow, this guy's really not going. This is way more than it took to get the last one knocked out. Wow. He does not want to go. There we go. She's unconscious. It's actually a she. Now just go ahead. Throw the narcotics on this bad girl. Throw the mehel berries, throw the azuls. And you will see it doesn't take too long. I think it took me f between 5 and 10 minutes. So if you multiply that by 4. Uh, it'll probably take you between 20 and 40 minutes. I guess we'll see. A little bit more solidly here. Let me take a quick drink of water. Give me a sec. Apologies about that, but this one's actually higher level too. This one's 11 by default, and the taming effectiveness bonus will be plus 5. There you can see how much one Meho Berry gives her. And that's about all that we need right there. So we're doing pretty A OK. -okay. Anyways, we're just going to leave this here. Remember where it is. It's like this weird rock. Probably check back in. Just I don't know if we have to feed it. Narcotics probably will, but now what I want to do is go ahead and get what we need and craft up. Actually, before we craft up the saddle for them, why don't we go ahead and name them? And also, since I'm about to go ahead and name my Argentavises, after what you guys said in the comments, might as well remind you guys, what would you like me to name this wild female Pachycephalosaurus? I believe I pronounced that right. What would you like me to name this wild female Packy? Because the names that I'm about to get to the two Argentavises were one of the highest voted comments in the past video. And you are going to get to name them. So uh, whoever wants to name this guy, be sure to leave a comment down below. And let me know what name you would like to be seen. And then if there's a comment in the uh, comment section that you yourself might like, be sure to like, vote on it or reply like, I like this name. And that way I can just kind of gauge a general clue like what name you guys like the most. And it's just kind of a cool way of having you guys decide the name. So, a uh, wild female Packy, of course, that is going to be tamed. It will have a name, but uh, the name we actually got, since we tamed this uh, animal on stream, 
the Manny Pacquiao. I actually decided to name him after what people said in chat, and I really liked Manny Pacquiao, so we went with that. So that's stuff like stuff I do on Twitch, I'll probably name after Twitch. And hey, we got a Fiomia. That was that was easy. <laughs> that really took no time at all. And uh, so wherever the Argentavises are, we wanted to call them, if you guys remember from season one, we had Pita Griffon. And you know what we're going to do? Pita Griffon will live on. Actually, no, they're both technically female. So this will be Lois Griffon. That is what we're going to be naming her in memory of the season one. We're going to name this one Lois. Lewis. Lewis. Okay, can I change the name? Hello? You really? Okay, there we go. Lois. That is not how you spell Lois. Lois. Gr Griffin, right? Griffin. Okay, that's technically how you do it, but we're gonna call her Lois Griffon. That's just the way I like to say Griffon for some reason, because they look like Griffins. But yeah, this is kind of, I guess, uh, it was a pretty highly voted comment, and it's kind of paying homage to season one. And uh, we already started leveling up Lois Griffon in, uh, to be a little bit of a tank. And pe people seem to agree with my kind of philosophy there. So as you can see here, if we up the health, it goes up by 150, so kind of decent. Uh, melee goes up, I believe, by like 20 to 30. Somewhere there, so that's pretty good too. And uh, this Argentavis, we're going to be working on standing stamina. Well, stamina's pretty good. Uh, standing movement speed-wise. But also, some people are suggesting we stat the weight on it to make sure it can carry a lot. And it can already carry a decent amount, but I do agree with that. But first things first, we're going to be focusing on movement speed. So this one can be fast. So, this one, since it is a younger female. Welcome, Meg Griffon! To the family. And one day, whenever we get another male, and it has to be a high level male, we'll make sure. Like, the male has to be higher level than Meg, so we can name her, or name him, Pita. And if it's lower level than Meg, we'll name him Chris, or Stewie. If it's like a level one, we'll name him Stewie. And actually, when it's a baby, when we can breed, oh, we'll have a baby griffin and name him Stewie. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that, but... Another bonus. Why don't we go ahead and actually craft up a saddle for one of these bad boys, so. Let's gotta get ourselves some hide. I actually have this inside of the base, so. Let's get that really quick. And also, don't know where I'm gonna put the fabricator. I don't really have room anywhere. I might kind of tear down some of these walls here. And uh, try and make room, because there's kind of some wasted space here, so. We'll have to see how that goes. Maybe tear down, like, this wood wall. That, actually, there's like, yeah, there's like a random, uh. I don't know, really. I do want to have room for it, though. I guess we'll have to see. Maybe we'll tear down a cut. Like I said, we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, let's go ahead. Close that, even though we don't really have to close it. And in here, I've been saving quite a lot. I also do have the cementing paste for the fabricator. We just have to get some uh, oil and crystal. You can get that from the mountains and then from the sea. But uh, for now, let's get the chitin we need for this. And somewhere we should have hide. Not in here, apparently. We'll go outside real quick. We should be able to craft up the saddle for Argentavis and actually have some fun there. However, before we do that, we'll go back and check on the Packy. Make sure he's alive and well. Wherever you are, my Packy friend. Which rock was? I think it was this rock, right? Yeah, there you are. Soon to be named. Already almost done. We've barely fed it. We'll feed it one narcotic just for good measure. Maybe two. We don't really have to check up on it anymore. It will. It'll be fine. It's already almost two-thirds of the way tamed, so. And we didn't even use Topor. Or didn't even use narcotic, and it's two-thirds of the way tamed. So we're doing good there. Anyways. Now then, we're gonna be putting our saddle on Pita Grif- I mean, not Pita- Lois Griffon! It's gonna be weird to get Pita Griffon out of my head, because I love saying Pita Griffon in that way. I don't know why. But now we're gonna have to be saying Lois Griffon! It's just so fun to butcher it in such a weird way. But let's go ahead and actually craft the saddle first. JK, we need some hide to craft this. Yo, why is that- Yo, what the fuck? I put the chitin in there? That's weird. When did I do that? I don't remember doing that. I have really short term memory, don't I? I think I do. <laughs> Alright, let's grab that hide that we need. Luckily our friend of the T-Rex has all of it. We can craft up the Argentavis saddle. And as soon as this ad and as soon as this bad boy is done, you can go ahead and begin riding Lois Griffon to victory. And it's fantastic. Alright, Lois Griffon. Hey, we actually got a level. That's 57. We're getting one step closer to where we want to be, but... The victory of Lois Griffon, we can fly. You know what else people are suggesting? That we turn our Bronto into a fucking landing pad. 
And I don't know how well that'll work. I'm going to actually try it here. But uh, people wanted to see the Bronto turn into a landing pad. And honestly, I want to see that happen too because that is so badass if that could happen. So I'm going to try and see if I could land here. Yes! Yes! No! 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 Oh god. Uh. Uh. Okay, there we go. Uh, he seems to have fallen off. Okay, well. Okay, Luis, you do that. Uh. Well, that kind of failed miserably, unfortunately, but, uh, our level... I want to get our weights up to 250, just so, like, when we're grinding out for materials, like, in the forest and stuff, we can do a lot at once. That's why my thing is so high, and I think I might actually put a little bit of a balcony on here. Put some ceilings this way to kind of cover us up. That'd be cool. Make us a bit safer. And, uh, hello, sexy Rexy. Oh, no, 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 uh, no. Damn it. Of course, we're taking that full damage. And then, yeah, I planted this. Uh, that should be grown within a couple hours. So probably next episode, we will have a Plant X protecting us, which will be very cool. And uh, let's go ahead and check back on the Packy. Get back here, Packy. Where you at, Packy? I know, I know you're going to be here. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Shit, I've lost him. I've left him. Oh, no. I think it's up here. Then. No, shit. I really lost him. <laughs> no, 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 no. This doesn't happen. I've lost my child. I'm an awful... Dinosaur father. Jesus Christ. Is it by this rock somewhere? No, I'm not even shitting you. Oh my god. Oh lordy. How? How do I manage to do this? Like, I bring a new degree of stupid to the table. Really? Oh no, there he is. Hey! Becky's tamed. We just gotta get him, uh, gotta craft him up a saddle. That won't be too hard, but hey! We got Packy, the female, and comment section down below. Let me know what you guys would like to see this guy named, you know? Let me know. And maybe drop a like on the video too, you know? Show some love there. But hey, no new suggestions. No new suggestions. Shameless suggestions for that. We're starving. Well, guess what? We came prepared. We actually have food for once. I know we never do, but what do we need for this? Backy saddle with some fiber and some hide. All right, well, we can find both of those probably within our good friend, Sexy Rexy. Friend with benefit. <laughs> Just kidding. I, I, I would not fuck. I would not fuck a dinosaur. I would not do that. That goes against my moral code. No matter how sexy. Holy shit, so much meat. Uh, hide. Did we get enough hide? No, we didn't grab any hide. Let's grab some of that hide then. And now we can craft up the packy saddle. Get that crafting. We're dying of thirst. Shit, of course we are. Uh, let's go grab some water. Actually, no, we can just drink from the tap here. People were actually reminding me of that. I usually just forget about that. I really do. There we go. And let's head back to Packy, throw this saddle on him, and we're gonna have ourselves two. And if our first Packy was actually a male, we should get that nice little mate boosted bonus. And this one should have some better stats. Yeah, already right off the bat. A little bit better stats, so I'm liking that. That's very good to see. Uh, the charge seems... I mean, I don't know if it's faster. Might have higher movement speed by a little, so... Might be, but yeah. This time we have ourselves a red Packy, so... I actually want to get... Wherever this guy is. Manny Pacquiao to follow us around and that way, you know, we can do this. Uh, unfortunately, I think Manny's actually a girl So I've I've named a female after a boxer of the male variety. You know what? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's enable following on you, Manny. Let's get you following your, uh, I mean, hey, you know, they could, they could be mate boosted in the sense that maybe they're a bit unorthodox. <laughs> I don't know how to really phrase that, but uh, there you go. I want to back up night and T. Oh god, no, not like that. I don't want to back up into you like that. Okay, now you stay. We're doing a photo shoot. We're gonna have some dope ass pictures. Look at that. Look at that. Look at how awesome we look, man. Look at that. That right there is the picture of perfection. So beautiful. So beautiful. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at it. That right there is some sexy pachycephalosauruses. And that's what I like to see. One of them level 16, one of them level 9. And hey, really basic mounts, but still, doesn't change the fact that they're actually really freaking awesome. I mean, even if they're not exactly the best, it's still really cool every time there's a new dino, so I'm excited. I really am. I mean, we could go and try to gang up on something real quick. I'm sure you guys want to see them combat, so... Let's get this guy on follow. Enable following. Now let's put you on a passive, but attack my target. Okay, don't poop. That doesn't mean poop. That means attack whoever I'm attacking. Now let's very quickly find ourselves something to uh, bully a little bit. How's that sound? Okay, there's really nothing to bully in the area. There's an Ankylosaur, but I'm scared of that. This is a level 15 dinosaur. We cannot take down an Ankylosaur. Those things are tanky as hell. 
Mm, unfortunately, I might have to not do that though. But I mean, I already kind of showed it off with like charging into the Fiomia, and when it comes to actual battle, these things aren't too fantastic. 130% melee damage, but uh, maybe we'll level them up a bit and we'll mess with that in a future episode so they can be a bit stronger. And hey, who knows, maybe we can actually take down something like an Ankylosaur. We will have to see there, but one of these is, of course, nameless. So, like I said, comment section, let me know what you guys would like to see one of these bad boys tamed. And, uh, I don't know. It's it's an exciting time. We've added two dinosaurs to the pen, and it's getting to be, you know, we're getting to we're getting to zoo status. We're almost getting to, like demo status. Who has like he was known for having a zoo last season, I think. It's like word on the street. And Lebronto again, all health, just so he can, you know, so he doesn't die. That's what we care about with Lebronto, because he's gonna have turrets on his back eventually. So he doesn't need it to attack. He needs to live. And then Louis Griffon, let's fly you, Louis Griffon, fly you into the air, and look at your epicness. Oh, look at that. Look at. Look at how epic you are, Luis. Look at that. Flying against such a contrasting background. Now that is the definition of beauty. Look at that. I'm gonna like get it to line up with the mountain so it looks even cooler. Yeah, what do you think about that? Damn. You're such badasses, you know that? You really are. Anyways. Uh, I think that's about getting a hook. Go ahead. Ah, gonna go ahead and do it for me for this episode. So next time when we come back, probably go the coast mess around with the water raft a bit and have some fun there or maybe even go hunting because uh we'll go hunting with our new dinos and uh once we level them up and of course to level them up as well and try to get some levels from that because we do need more levels to actually accomplish some stuff like getting high, higher level stuff and hopefully to be high enough level for the plesio saddle when that happens otherwise we have to execute another trade and i mean i'm cool with trading as long as it's an even trade but it still does feel better, admittedly, to craft it on your own. And building on the back of a plesio is going to be cool. But also, I do want to head to the coast. Build a potential little dock to house a water raft. And then, of course, maybe probably first build a water raft. And uh, once that thing is built, turn that thing into a bit of a boat. And eventually, I want to make some battleships on those water rafts. Like, you can only really fit a 2x2 two two on it. But if we get some turrets on those 2x2s, two you know, we could have some, like, little gunboats. And with some, with some generators and stuff. It's going to take some work. A lot of cool potential. Not a cool stuff, but uh, yeah, I think that's gonna go ahead and do it for me. So, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and as always, I fucked that up. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, as always, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.